Hello traders and welcome for another weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. First of all, I will just let you know how much I appreciate all of you for your support, your comment and your likes. Thanks a lot guys. As usual, while I roll into in disclaimer, do hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, just a quick announcement before we start, uh, the next course uh, registration uh, is just started and as I promised you for a couple of weeks ago, I do have a great offer for you and that is uh, $300 off. Uh, all you need to do when you subscribe is use the uh, summer uh, coupon code down here and uh, yeah, as you see, you will learn a lot of tons of stuff and if this course is not for the very new traders if you are a new traders i would say uh, you need to trade at least six months maybe one year to then join this course otherwise uh, it's gonna be a waste of time and money for you so as a, uh, new traders you have a lots of stuff uh, for free out there go grab them first but if you feel like you're ready to take the next step now it is the time this is a one-time offer only and uh, it is an amazing offer for you guys especially those of you who've been waiting um, for uh, this kind of offer to join um, right now eight seats left and um, as soon as i have uh, five to uh, six students we could uh, start the course so when you subscribe you could uh, join our uh, trading room and wait until we have the right number of uh, students and we uh, will start the course but somewhere in uh, mid-september so uh, just a quick announcement for all of you all you need to do is uh, uh, visit my uh, web page you have the link below and you have the link in uh, the description uh, in this video so that's it for the announcement. We will start with the Dixie as usual. And uh, as you see, um, after a very, very slow week last week, we've been going sideways in this uh, upper channel here. We've got Friday and um, most of this move uh, was not happening because of uh, Powell, the market been waiting for uh, the Powell speech, but he did not add much to um, anything new. So the main uh, move happened after the Trump tweets and uh, this the China retaliation and trade war. And that why we've got very, very strong bounce to the um, move to the downside on the dollar, the same as as uh, we've had on the uh, stock market. If we take a quick look, you see that uh, the stock market did move a lot as well after that um, uh, tweet. So um, if we go down to the four hour on the Dixie, uh, these are the marks from our trading room. So what I'm be, be looking for that if we break strongly and we hold above this to maybe see another push to the upside, as I told you last week in the overview, or a break below this support that been holding for the whole week last week could send us back uh, to the downside which was the outcome here the market did push uh, strongly so on the one hour we broke very very strongly there was no correction at all and uh, it kept moving lower now this last uh, one hour candle is a little bit uh, fake again the price of the Dixie is up here 97.26 so if we go back to the four hour you see that 97.26 is the number so uh, this one hour candle should be somewhere up here instead uh, but in any case we will keep on uh, keep looking at the four hour time frame so um, as for now let's uh, take off uh, these we don't need them anymore we did not um, break higher and the move to the downside was uh, the case here so uh, what got broken now uh, is this uh, key uh, support uh, level that was resistance previously here many many times as you see um, we don't need to mark all of them but as you see it was a very important level and that got broken we broke below the 200 moving average on the four hour 
and uh, the question is for next week are we gonna get some kind of uh, correction and another leg to the downside that is basically what we're looking for uh, next week on the dollar um, a uh, correction higher to happen to then uh, look for the next leg lower i think the market objective is at least to reach these levels now after breaking uh, below uh, this uh, possible support level so uh, the key idea here is to look for a retracement back toward 97.75 to then look for um, another possible leg to the downside back toward uh, this area down here around the 96.60 uh, uh, or some kind of uh, bearish flag slow correction that would be also another reason to trade on the breakout okay oil still bearish and uh, as i told you last week uh, we still bearish on oil sell rallies was the main idea and uh, we still have uh, this trend line to keep an eye at as you see here been tested now four times without managing to break above it we had uh, short term breaks but um, on the daily time frame we kept uh, getting rejection uh, rejection from that area and i think the market objective is at least to reach uh, down here at around the uh, 51 area especially if the stock market to keep uh, moving to the downside so it depends on how the sentiment is uh, next week let's not forget we do have the um, we do have the g20 um, uh, ongoing today and will will be ongoing tomorrow and we're gonna um, surely uh, get some uh, comments and headlines that may affect those markets yeah so uh, keep uh, keep an eye on those headlines uh, so for oil on lower time frame I still see um, any retest toward these areas around monthly S1 or the trend line to look for another sell uh, back down toward the uh, 51 area is the main idea. So uh, you probably uh, get this or in case you get some kind of a slow correction uh, toward monthly S1 that could be also another possible sell. So uh, keep selling rallies on oil. Gold pushed very strong to the upside after uh, the stock market start moving lower and a weaker dollar of course gold will uh, push higher so as you see this support down here still holding very very nicely i still think the market objective is at least to reach the 1550 as i told you last week uh, that we're gonna tag these levels uh, surely uh, before any correction to happen and uh, if the same sentiment continue you could expect even more upside on gold so still bullish uh, but we still maintained in this range here the high of this candle and the low of it is the um, this is the mother of this range so uh, you may see some correction back down here or you may keep seeing this uh, range going on as for now you your resistance is up here so expect possibly a, at least a short term correction or maybe a move all the way down where you're gonna have your support so for now the um, 1486 area is your support level that you need to keep an eye uh, at and a break above this that will send us all the way toward 1550 and that may happen very fast if the break to the upside uh, happens so bullish by the dips on gold usd <coughs> on the daily also got very very strong bullish engulfing candle last friday and as you see this support kept holding now we have uh, this double bottom scenario we uh, back above this uh, key support area that should act resistance as it did here and it did here but now we broke above this range and uh, held above it and entered it back inside uh, this market is still bearish but there is a potential move uh, back toward these levels to test these highs uh, on um, euro usd so now since we broke above this range uh, the uh, main idea is to look for a retest if and only if we uh, see bullish evidence here then there is a possibility for another leg to the upside maybe to test these levels up here okay so uh, don't just um, go long blindly because this market on the higher time frame is still uh, bearish 
um, the uh, midterm is sideways so everything is happened but i think a move toward these uh, highs is not impossible yeah so keep an eye on the correction next week toward this level if you uh, find bullish evidence and nice trigger then there is a possibility for one more leg to the upside sterling usd also uh, nice reversal here uh, these markups are from um, our trading room we were looking for a retracement to uh, 618 so i had my order down here for a possible retest to this level and continuation uh, sadly we got uh, just a correction toward around the 50 percent and uh, it went higher without me and um, yeah it was a retest of this level instead of uh, testing these areas so i'm look still looking for the same uh, scenarios here uh, possible continuation any retest back down toward uh, these levels could be an area that you may find uh, bullish defense at so keep an eye on this level now on this market because there is a possibility that we uh, start seeing some kind of uh, correction higher i think a retest toward um, uh, this area could be uh, very possible uh, next week and um, for now we do have on the four hour time frame higher highs and higher lows ongoing so it could be a start of a, um, a deeper correction to the upside on this market yeah so as far as this uh, low here is holding as support you could look for buys but if we uh, fail to hold it and it breaks below then we are going for one more leg to the downside. First off, look for possible buys. USD Jappy also still inside this uh, range here. We broke below uh, this level, this particular level. We still have this uh, as a possible support. But as I told you earlier, I still think the market objective is at least to tag these lows down here. And that looks uh, pretty possible now from uh, here, especially after this very strong bearish candle uh, on friday we could look for some correction and uh, one more leg to the downside especially if the stock market keep behaving um, as it does and uh, keep having bad sentiment so uh, correction and look for sell toward uh, 10460 is the main idea usd chief also uh, broke the trend line the minor trend line so on the daily time frame we still um, bearish so as you see here we still uh, high, lower lows and lower highs we could not break above this level previously so the key structure here is not broken we tested the 200 moving average pushed very strongly to the downside and last friday we've got another lower high here so again there is a possibility that we push lower to tag these lows now on uh, this market yeah sell rallies also even here look for a correction to try and sell it if it get a flag or something like that that would be even better could be also sideways like this a range that breaks or if we go slowly slowly toward this level that could be your area to look for uh, a sell at yeah don't sell it where it is right now it gonna correct don't rush usd cat also um, interesting um, we've had this um, bearish divergence that i mentioned uh, last week still ongoing uh, the 200 moving average that been acting as nice dynamic support previously is now acting as dynamic resistance and we still uh, failing to hold above it so every time uh, we uh, breaks above it we push lower we broke here again then the market pushed lower and friday uh, it failed to make a new high so uh, it pushed once again to the downside so start looking as a possible rotation here uh, but we need to see a break below monthly r1 if that happened then there is a possibility for the continuation to the downside so keep an eye on this uh, trend line here draw a trend line to see if it's gonna breaks or use this for our time frame chart i think any strong break below this level and uh, this trend line could signal uh, a continuation to the downside so look for break and a retest that failed to hold above monthly r1 if that is the case then you have your trade toward yearly pivot point at least to then 
expect some uh, defense here and maybe more downside so uh, that is what i'm looking for if we're gonna see a break of this level that would be perfect to try and uh, take a trade back down toward yearly pivot point on the retrace on the correction higher and as you see this area been acting as a very strong resistance for now four times tested and failed to uh, to move higher so we're gonna see if uh, the bulls gonna give up this area or not next week Aussie USD also sitting at a key support level looking at the weekly time frame we see that we had this uh, morning star formation but there was no uh, break and close above the highs followed by another star down here and last week was uh, also bearish week but with a very very small body so sitting at this key support now um, any break below this on the daily that will open the door for um, another move down to uh, tag this low uh, here but as for now to be considered support still not really broken as you see and uh, you should uh, keep an eye on this level as a possible support level on the break and if we keep having bad news between uh, china and us and the stock market keep um, moving lower then uh, there is nothing to do and uh, all you have to do is keep selling this uh, market because that is the main trend yeah so on the higher time frame we are pretty bearish on this market and now after this strong push and the consolidation if the break happened then you are ready to uh, sell it uh, to change bias here it need to break at least above these highs here uh, that need to happen for more upside so the same as what we got on euro usd last week we broke above this that's why we are looking for more upside so aussie uh, usd same scenario for a reversal you need to see a break above this level to then start looking to buy yeah for now look for if this break will happen to then continue lower new zealand usd also tested a key level but there is another key level just below that as you see here on the daily time frame we tested uh, this uh, support area got tested but i think the market also could be interested to tag this low down here if we go to the weekly time frame you see it uh, clearly uh, this support here and then after that we have this support uh, and on the monthly you know my main idea if we break below this then we are going for even more downside and much much bigger trade uh, trade so on the monthly for now we are below this low but uh, the month is not over there is still um, like five trading days so next week gonna be very very interesting how this will close but again as i told you any break below this level that will send us to the next support and the last line of defense here so keep an eye on the lower time frame we have this range right now this is gonna be an important support watch here because the bulls may defend it for another move higher toward this area to then start looking for one more sell again because this market could now start making some wider consolidation as you see every time it get very narrow you have a, a break to then push higher maybe before the real move happen okay so for now support but if broken strongly then you can start sell it for even more downside on this uh, market so uh, yeah that was it for uh, today guys thanks a lot uh, again if you like these videos do not forget to hit that like button and um, yeah see you next week bye bye